Hey guys, here's another video on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this time we're taking a look at the AOKP Build 5 ROM uh, that just came out. Uh, it's an official build, nothing that got ported maybe from a different device. No, this is specifically built for the Galaxy S3 for Verizon. Um, so let's take a quick look here. I have it booted, booting up right now. As you, as you can see, the same boot animation as the prior builds. So there it is. Uh, I've already gone in and actually set up my uh, my settings and my apps and everything. So let's get right to it. Just give it a second to boot up here. Let's get load all the resources. All right. So here we go. So it looks like everything's booted back up already. Let me see here. Let me just uh, make sure I got a good view of the phone here. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, as you can see, it's still really, really snappy. So nothing changed on that aspect. Uh, as you can see, I have all my settings up here, all my uh, as for, uh, all my uh, notification uh, presets as far as Wi-Fi, GPS, sync, swagger, Bluetooth, rotate. I also have a weather uh, panel up here that you can set in the settings uh, menu. Um, you can refresh it, you know, just one tap. Uh, looks like I have a notification. You swipe from there, or just click on this button up here. Obviously, just you know, regular Jelly Bean. Nothing different there. Um, the clock, obviously. So let's go to settings. Show you guys uh, what the settings menu looks like. Uh, it's same as prior builds. Nothing's different. I mean, same setup. So uh, now the only thing, obviously, that the AOKP did is they actually went ahead and updated their uh, Android version to 4.1.2 which is the latest Android version uh, which is uh, what I did on uh, I did a video on this uh, on this uh, update uh, in a prior video of mine uh, a lot pretty much what it, what it all it does all it does is uh, just a lot of bug fixes nothing major uh, uh, what those bugs fixes are unknown for, to me of course I haven't gone uh, that far into the research of it but uh, I mean, it's it's been rock solid for me. No issues, no major issues at all. Uh, so nothing to report uh, report there as far as issues. Um, so let's go through the settings here. What they're known for, of course, uh, you have the ROM control right here. Go there. You go to your general UI to set up uh, maybe a, co a custom boot animation that you like to you know, install. Uh, disable boot animation all, comp all you know entirely. If you want to do that, you can do that kind of, you know, speed up the boot up process. Uh, you can, uh, you know, set up a, a custom carrier cable, uh, label. I have it currently as a stock one, which is Verizon Wireless. You can choose your own. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that now. So, uh, choose notification, uh, notification background. Uh, you can choose uh, background for the actual slide down. Uh, Notification here instead of it being black you can have a custom wallpaper a picture of anything you'd like to have <clears throat> So that's something really nice uh, Let's see notification background. Um, I don't know what that does. I haven't checked it out yet, but uh Notification count of course you can do that uh, vibrate on expand when you get an email or something You want to see if there's a picture in there uh, you can expand that enable kill button What that is is this right here you press and hold and this button right here on the left. When you have any, if you have any apps running, all you gotta do is press that button, and it'll kill all the all the running applications at that moment. Obviously, I don't have any now, so I don't need it. <clears throat> uh, you can hold back to kill any any app that you're in. Uh, you can just press the the hold back button, and it'll kill the app completely. Uh, you can enable 180 degree rotation. So let me show you that. How that guy? Let me see if I can do that here. There it is. You can turn the phone completely over and it'll still be usable. So let's go back to the normal orientation here. Uh, Force uh, tablet UI, I haven't you know messed with that because uh, I heard there's a lot of issues with that, so I don't want to get into that right now. <clears throat> uh, enable dual panel, I haven't gotten into that as well. Hide extras, I don't know what that, LCD density, I never touched that. Uh, show menu UI overflow. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to touch that. Uh, if ever you're in an app and you want to uh, show those three dots, the menu uh, option on every app, go ahead and click that. I don't use it, I don't need it. So let's get away from that. So, quick pin obviously, your regular 
unlock and lock uh, options for your uh, sorry for the sorry about the quality of the camera here guys let me see if I can focus in properly there it is sorry sorry about the camera uh, so menu unlock if you want to go if you want to go directly from the when you're in your lock screen if you want to menu unlock you can do so instead of sliding the actual tab choose lock screen wallpaper you can have your own there oh another cool thing that you know jelly bean comes with is the uh, shut off uh, kind of like animation there um, lock screen wallpaper color text everything stock music layout if you want to have that um, <clears throat> If you want to have calendar uh, show up on your lock screen, what I do, I don't have anything going on right now. So, but if, if I did, it would be showing up right here on the bottom right, uh, it's showing you what type of uh, you know upcoming events that you have, Vinny. So let's go back in there again. Flip interval, of course. So it's just basic stuff. Uh, this has been implemented for, uh, in prior builds of AOKP, so nothing new. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of everything. Uh, nothing major has changed. Obviously your LED, you can test that. I have it currently as blue and it blinks that fast. Uh, you can have it set to blinking really slow, blink for a long uh, period of time. It just, whatever it is that you choose. Uh, so let's back out of that. <clears throat> you can go into performance itself. I have it clocked right now. That's just regular uh, on demand, as you can see down here. On demand, you can do uh, you, you can actually overclock the CPU to whatever, you know, uh, voltage you want it to. Uh, I have it, you know, just on demand, like I said. So the highest it'll go about 1.6 gigahertz. Um, that's, pr that's pretty much it as far as the menu is involved here. Uh, obviously, Google Now works. Let me see if I can, this one doesn't do the, the part where you press the menu button. And it'll go to Google Now, so you'll actually have to go to the menu tab up here to get any type of uh, Google Now response. So go there uh, on the actual status bar, click, I'm sorry, on the search bar and it'll get you to Google Now. You can go to the mic, uh, mic little button up here to get to Google Now as well. Weather. As you can see, it's really quick and responsive. I don't have the volume up right now, so it won't respond by volume. Uh, other than that, guys, it's just a rock solid uh, ROM. That AOKP has uh, you know developed here. Uh, I have your I have my clock right centered with the Sunday and PM with the time right now. Uh, you can change the battery to a circle mod. Uh, you can change the uh, 4G signal to, uh, to actual text if you like. Uh, let's see what else the features. Obviously, just uh, you have your regular stock drawer. Uh, you have regular apps. I mean, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary that you haven't seen already from AOKP, but it is a really, really nice ROM that I like. You know, I wanted you guys to check out. Um, if you guys like the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and again, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.